The purpose of this video is to present some examples of ways that an organization can integrate Oxygen XML Web Author into various stages of a documentation review workflow to help make the processes easier and more efficient. For this demonstration, we'll show you how we have integrated Web Author components into our web help output and to Atlassian's Jira, which is the issue tracking software that we use. You'll also see us commit to a GitHub repository. However, note that Web Help, Jira, and GitHub are just examples because WebAuthor can be integrated with various other platforms and applications as well. A simplified example of a review workflow might look something like this. Suppose that we have a task to make a change in the documentation. In our case, the person requesting the change would create a Jira issue with details about what needs to be done. Once the technical writer makes the changes, they commit using the Jira issue ID in the commit message. An automated script then adds links to the Jira issue and sends an email notification to all watchers for that issue. A subject matter expert can use the links to open the document in WebAuthor's visual file comparison tool or its editor. They would review the changes and provide feedback to the technical writer or make changes themselves that would also be committed using the Jira issue ID so that all collaborators can see exactly what was done. So here is an example of a Jira issue. It contains details about the task. Notice that there's a note for documentation that indicates that there's an existing topic that needs a new section about facial authentication. So the technical writer needs to make a change in the documentation and they will need to include the Jira issue ID when they commit those changes and you'll see why later. So they would copy the issue number from the top of the Jira page or from the URL in the address bar. And they could use a variety of different tools to make and commit the changes, but for this demonstration, we'll use the editor in WebAuthor. And to reach WebAuthor, I'll show you how we've integrated it with our web help output. In our web help version of that particular user guide, here is the topic that was specified in the Jira issue and you see that an edit online button is integrated at the top right corner of the page and clicking that button opens that particular topic in WebAuthor's visual editor. The technical writer would add the content that was specified in the Jira issue. Then they would commit the changes and remember the Jira issue ID needs to be included in the commit message. We have an automated job configured that runs periodically throughout each day that basically looks for any matches of existing Jira issue IDs within recent commit messages. If there's a match, the bot computes a message and posts a comment within the Jira issue that contains some links that are useful for reviewers. Suppose that a subject matter expert wants to see a visual comparison of what was changed in the documentation. They could click the diff link. This opens the file comparison tool in WebAuthor, and the updated version of the document is shown on the left, while the original version from the repository is shown on the right, so that the subject matter expert can visually see exactly what was changed. Note that the diff link in the Jira issue is a fixed link, and the URL contains parameters that specify the specific versions of the document, so this URL can even be shared with others and they can see the same versions. Going back to Jira, suppose that the reviewer wants to be able to edit the source to make corrections or to add a comment to propose changes. In this case, they could click the source link. This opens the document in WebAuthor's visual editor. They could make a change. And when they commit the change, again, they would include the Jira issue ID in the commit message. And then everyone involved in the task has access to see what was changed. So these were just a few examples of ways that WebAuthor can be integrated with various platforms and applications to help make the process of reviewing documentation easier, more efficient, and more effective. This concludes this demonstration. Note that in the video's description, there is a link to a video that shows WebAuthor's file comparison tool in more detail, as well as a link to a user guide topic that provides information about embedding edit links similar to those that we showed in this video. 
We also want to invite you to subscribe to our various social media channels, and please contact us if you would like more specific information about how your particular organization can integrate WebAuthor into your documentation review workflow.